Hey guys, what's going on? RJ here with you for another SNK All Star video. Let's sum up card battle, okay? I played this mode for a couple of days, and uh, let's sum this up. Let's do it real quick, TLDR, and what we got to do. So, when you first start your challenge, you need to take a card, pick any card. It doesn't really matter. Purchase them. Oh man, my face is in the way again. You throw them up there. You know, you can refresh again, but it don't really matter right now. Just deploy, you win, right? The whole point of this whole mode is to collect cards for yourself, right? So you want to upgrade right away. And then you got to pick up any other card that's uh, that's going to work with you. Um, and right now the boss is still 1600, so it doesn't even really matter what I do. Um, let's just grab another card. But you always want to make sure you get this store updated as fast as you can. Because that's the main thing. The whole point of this is to <clears throat> get up higher, try to collect cards so that you can um, merge them, right? You want to merge your cards into gold cards, and at the end, with the reward settlement, any gold cards you have are going to be behind those boxes, right? So let's go through this again. Um, blood Drainer. I got a Blood Drainer. Okay, so let's take her. Oh, man, I got to get my... I'm going over here. There we go, guys. Get my face out of the way. Um, so I already have 4,000, but the problem is that you still don't have enough to upgrade yet. Um, so I think unyielding, I can't I can't really get either of these guys to do much for me. So let's just uh, put them out, deploy it, move on. And you wanna upgrade your store as fast as you can. And hopefully if the drops line up for you, um, it, it should go all right. Now here again, um, I have seven coins, so you want to upgrade your store again on this round, and then you pick up another card, and uh, away we go. Now hopefully, I'll get something half decent coming up here. Uh, I did get a three star, well that's good. Uh, I don't want to upgrade in this round because I need power, so that's KMA, right? Um, so this is where you can kind of try to search right here to try to find another uh, card. You got five coins. Um, if I sell something, I don't think I could upgrade again right now. Um, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try a... Yeah, see, I'm still 13,500. So let's upgrade. So there, now I have a four-star store already. You got to take a, a couple of breaks in between upgrading your store. And, um, you know, so there we go. There's the sauce that I want to see. So now I can see this guy, right? I'm already above the, uh, the 20,000. I've got six coins left. Um, you know, we should probably get some four star guys going on here. Uh, blood drainer, blood drainer, blood drainer, burning fire. Uh, you know, I, I don't even really want to merge a, uh, a Billy card right now. Because um, I want these four-star, five-star cards to be able to merge them. So let's take Chin as well, right? Come on, Chin. Get in there. So I'm already up that high. Um, we'll see if I can get a refresh. See, that refresh kind of sucked. Um, that kind of sucks too. Ooh, and there's a Heomaru. I want to keep that Heomaru because I want him on my next turn for Blood Drainer. Because you get, you know, the bonuses, they do a lot for you. Challenge successful. So now I got 10 coins. Uh, I got to get up to 30,000. So I'll buy a Heomaru and we'll get rid of uh, Whip, maybe. Get that Heomaru in there, and I'm up. Now I upgrade my store again. So now my store is fully maxed out. So the next rounds are where I need the magic to happen. And this is where it becomes all luck. Once you get your store upgraded all the way. See, there's a Kula. Five-star Kula. Let's take her. Absolutely. These rest of these guys are trash. Um, this is kind of trashy, too. Come on. 
So it's going to give me that four star Yuri. Might want to take a four star Yuri. I'll take that four star Yuri and we'll get rid of uh, Billy. He doesn't do much for me, but we'll put Kula in. Get another refresh. So there we go. Now I can see an Iori. Let's take Iori for the Blood Drainer team. Um, I still need to get up a little bit more in power. So let's sell him. Stick Iori in there. Uh oh. Um, who do we got to get rid of here? Let's do a refresh. Nope. And I got to get up another 150 or 1500 points. But if I take away blood drain, yeah, it should be okay to sell her. Yep, so I can still get to the next round. And I still have a refresh here. So there's a Yukio, there's an Iori. So let's lock that in <clears throat> and deploy. So this is where it kind of gets tricky and you gotta hope. I want that Iori, I want that Yukio, and I hope it gives me, see there's the Yukio. So there. Now, oh, and it gave me an Iori. So there we go. Now I've got this going on, this going on. I can challenge it, I've got two coins left, but you want to use your refreshes ahead of time, right? So that was garbage. That's still garbage. I don't want to lock that in. And uh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's another Kula. So I definitely want to take a Kula. And uh, pray to the RNG gods for a good refresh. Oh, uh, there's a Heomaru. I've already got one of him. I don't know if I should get greedy and try to go for another Terry. No, let's not do Terry. So let's purchase him up. Do a refresh. Um, come on. Yep, there's the Kula. There we go, there we go. So now I can beat this. Um, but the only cards that will be able to show up are the Yori, the Kula, and the Yukio for me. And then it's going to give me random stuff um, there from there on in. Um, but I could try, I could try right now to get another um, Heumaru. Because um, I have three cards. To, no, it's not going to work out. So let's just beat the mode. Let's just beat the mode. Some days you'll get more gold cards than others, but then it becomes even more randomness. See, at the end of this, when I select my trophies. So I got a Vanessa. There's the Kula. And I know there's an Iori in here. Yep. No, there's the Yukio. No. Nope. How bad do you want that Iori? You know what I mean? There's the Iori. Great. So I got my three gold cards. So that's the way you get these gold cards. And now when I go into my card... I can be like, hey, let's get rid of you, you know, and uh, let's throw in a five-star Yori, right? You know, let's get you to you, and we'll throw in uh, Yukio. And you can see, all of a sudden, my power starts to kick ass. You know what I mean? And you want to keep doing this, because as you go, you know, you will need duplicates of five-star cards to be able to merge these into higher quality that will give you higher stats so that's why we want to play it every day and you want to aim for your gold cards you know what I mean if you're free to play um, you might not want to spend the diamonds on it um, but at the same time a little bit of investment might go a long way at least with the couple hundreds but you gotta hope for luck and so the more gold cards if you get up to seven gold cards they'll all be sitting there for you um, I, I kind of find it hard to get all those gold cards, but you gotta you gotta hope for some RNG luck when you're pulling at the end. So hopefully that explains it. Beating the mode doesn't actually get you anything special. Um, you just want to upgrade your store as fast as possible and try to possibly merge five star gold cards or four star gold cards. Even they're not they're they're just a little step down. I mean it's 200 attack, 80 defense, 2400 HP. 
compared to 300 there there is a bit of a difference you know what i mean between the two of them so you want the five stars eventually but four stars are good for now because um, you can upgrade them as well but you definitely want to aim for those five stars and so just like i showed you guys a minute ago you want to upgrade to a five star shop as fast as you can and then you can get about two rounds in with 12 coins to try to cycle through and hope that you can get three car three five star cards and then buy them up and there you go and then you got to draw them at the end of the mode so it's a whole lot of rng but if you're lucky you'll get through it and you'll do well so hopefully that gives a much better explanation on the mode than the last time because it was just i don't know what i'm doing but now i know what i'm doing and that's what it is so have a good one guys see you in the next one peace